coffee time. I'll try to talk louder. What are you doing? What are you doing today? I am grinding, grinding my coffee. That's what I'm doing. I just made me a cup. Naughty. Don't you even start it. Don't you even start. No. No. Someone said I shouldn't let you bite me anymore. I wanted to have coffee with you. Coffee time. Freshly ground. Yesterday, today, it hasn't been hot. Every hour, every two hours, I just say thanks for the weather, Lord, because it's awesome. It was getting really hot in my camper. It's excruciating. And I'm thankful. No, 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 we're not going to flip and bite. I don't know. I guess I really don't have anything to say today. Just want to see your face. Put a video out because I don't feel like putting a video out. So, forcing myself to. I can't see shit. So I hope you can see me. Because I can't. I can't see. The sun's not directly out. There's quite a few clouds today, but it's it's that glary, that glary light. Man, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on with me, and there's nothing going on with me. Terrible combination. I was listening to a sermon, and he said, God doesn't close one door without opening another, but it's hell in the hallway. It is hell in the hallway. Hold on a second. Bug flew up my nose. It was terrible. Yeah, I'm in the hallway right now. And it's one of those things where I'm not sure what I should do. I know what I want to do, but I'm not sure what I should do. So it sucks. The cat's attacking my leg. If I have to stay here, where I'm at at camp, until next year, oh my god. That's why I need to get these answers pretty quickly, because I need to figure out my water situation. Uh, I'm not crying around about it, but no one ever checks on me to see if I need water or need to go in town. So I've got to constantly call. My mother won't take me in town anymore. She brought me out. She brought me out something I needed last night, which I was very thankful for. I gave her one of my country sampler magazines. She was happy about that. We like looking at decorating magazines. And um, so she brought me out something I needed, but she won't she won't take me much anywhere. And so I'm gonna have to figure out my water situation. Right now I've got 20 something water jugs that need filled. And I'm gonna need a better 
I'm gonna need a better way to store my water. So I'm thinking if I end up staying here, I have my my fresh water tank on my camper. Maybe I can just haul my jugs out here and fill my water tank. Since I am hooked up to power right now, I'll just go ahead and use my my sink and stuff. Maybe I can do that because it's a 50 gallon tank. So maybe I could just take a couple trips back and forth to town. One trip, whatever. And get it, you know, get it filled. I take baths in my, um, one of those storage tubs, those ones you store clothes and decorations and stuff in. Works perfect. I do a two gallon bath. I heat up just enough water to make my water tolerable and then I have enough to wash my hair and take care of, take, take my bath. So there's some things I need to figure out. I'm really tired of being in between, not knowing what I want to do. I know what I want to do. But if I, you know, if I don't get this land, it's obviously not meant to be. I said it the other day, it's not meant to be. I don't believe, you know, I don't believe I'm being punished for things that were out of my control. You know, I didn't break my own damn car down two months after I paid a thousand bucks for it. It just, it just... It was due for, to happen. I've, I've had a vehicle since I was 17 years old. Yes, I stopped driving for almost 12 years, 11 years. You know, I just, I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to leave home. I left home when I needed to or here and there. But I always had a vehicle since I was 17. Never had one break down on me. Never had a flat tire. You know, being 39, I'd say that's pretty good. So, it was time for me to get a lemon. But I didn't choose this. I didn't screw up and end up like this. So, I know there's good things coming. I've just got to hang on. And I am holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding steady. But it sucks really bad. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Pretty much mental agony too. Freaking things are biting me. Sucks to know what you want to do. And you can't quite get there. But I know I will. I've had major blessings come my way the past month. And even though it's hard, I'm not going to let go of it. I'm just going to keep thinking about it and think about thinking about the signpost on my path showing me this is most certainly what I'm supposed to do. I just keep going on. Yesterday, man, I was having a hard time yesterday. I said, all right, God, I want to give up so bad. How do I give up? I was like, I can't. I don't know how to give up. How does someone give up, right? How do you give up? I can't. I'm not going to give up and just think shitty thoughts. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. It's where your mind naturally goes in hard times, but you learn to fight against it enough. Thinking, thinking right, thinking on the good things starts to become more natural than being cynical, pessimistic. Sometimes this logic can torture us, you know. If you have a logical brain, like I do, it can be hell. You want to know a good logic chapter in the Bible, read Proverbs. It's probably my least favorite chapter in the Bible. It's okay for me to say that. But it's probably because I relate to it so much. It's how I think. When you read Proverbs, the writer almost has a bit of an attitude. Same with Ecclesiastes.
which is a good thing. Sometimes attitudes are good things. Well, you've seen me go here, go there. You've seen me do a lot of things in the past year. And on the 20th of this month, I'll be on here for a year. But who am I to say I should accomplish everything I want to accomplish in a year? Jesus, I've been working on this for 10 years. Not going to happen. But I have made friends here. Thank you for that. Sorry I'm rude sometimes. I just I don't have the time to waste being all fake. When I say things like I don't like everyone or I'm not being I'm not being mean, I just I'm gonna tell you how it is. I don't I don't like everyone. And I'm pretty sure someone could come up and poke a hole in my logic and say, Well, here's the deal. Yeah, I'm that way too. But you control it, and you just be kind to everyone. I am kind to everyone. And I always will be. Unless you bite me, and I'm sorry to tell you this. I bite back. Jesus said, turn the other turn the other cheek. Well, at, sometimes you've turned all the cheeks you have. You have no more cheeks left to turn. Defend yourself. That's my thoughts on that. I see no honor, and letting yourself be abused. I've been down that road. No thanks. No thank you. I want to get out of here really bad. I really want to get out of here really, really bad. The main thing that sucks is my vehicle broke down, right? So I can't get to work. Right? That, that's why I'm not working. Family situations. I've said it before. My family is very codependent. i got to get out. Love my family. I don't say anything on here or behind their back that I don't say straight to their face. In love. Tough love. And they're the same with me. But I want out. And I'll be 40 October 20th. It's not, like I told my dad, my dad's, he'll say, you know, I think he's two years young, younger than mom, mom's 65. I was like, dad, really? Really, our lives are just over when we get to a certain age, really? There's no, there's no second chances, fourth chances. Come on, you're still breathing. I was like, come on, go off grid with me, dad. Told me, he's like, oh, Catherine, I'm too old for that. I think I already told you that. But I tried again. I messaged him the day before yesterday, and again yesterday. He's ignoring my messages. Come on, Dad. He's living with someone right now, and he's living with a family member right now. Since him and Mom split up, he's never had his own place. Dad's actually never had his own place. He met my mom when he was 15, and she was 17. And they've been together ever since. They've been the only ones each other's ever been with their whole lives. And they split up about, I think it's been seven years ago now. And he just told me the other day when we were talking, in Dollar General parking lot, he's like, Catherine, I love your mother. I was like, well, Dad, where would she be without your love? You know, and he's like, I love your mother. And I'm trying to show her that. He's been coming down and helping her with the store and stuff like that. And don't you claw me. He said, your mother's the only woman I've ever loved. Come here. Come on up here, naughty boy. Come on up, naughty boy. Come on. Come here. If you're going to sit there and claw me, you might as well come up here, because I'm going to kiss you to pieces. You're so freaking naughty. Sick of you freaking biting me. One of my subscribers said, no more biting. He said, no more biting. Do we need to, do we need to knock off the biting? I'm trying to turn you into a, a hunter. And it certainly worked. You're so naughty. You quit clawing my legs. You stop doing that. Oh.
Oh, Glenn, if you're watching this, he has tons of toys. He just likes to bite me. No. I can't see how long this video is. It's probably terribly long. He's probably, ow, you little bastard. No. Maybe that guy's right, because you're seriously taking chunks out of me again, buddy. Come here. No. 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 Stop it. That hurt. You're being naughty. Naughty. Get. No. All right, well, I better go. Just wanted to talk. Just lonely. Wanted to have coffee with you. And the cat's freaking biting my leg really hard. I'm going to kick him. Not really. Quit it. Alright, I'm going to go. I've got to grind coffee beans. I have... But I went to the food bank last month. Major blessing, right? Major blessing. They had all that coffee there. They never have coffee. And now it's out of coffee. Well, I got like... I got 10 bags, but I'm down quite a few. I went through all the ones that weren't beans. So I got this grinder from my mother. And I've got... I've got to open another bag and get to grinding. Alright. I haven't been able to see crap, so I hope I'm even looking. Hope you can see me. I'm trying to bond with you. For me, it's all or nothing. I said I wasn't going to be that anyway anymore. I think I'll be that way till I die. All or nothing, buddy. So, I'm going to do this YouTube thing, you know. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to actually... I'm going to have to actually... Let you guys in. I'm going to have to. Alright, I gotta go. Have an awesome day. Here comes my naughty cat. Gonna attack my face. Gonna get thrown across the freaking... Gonna get thrown all the way across this space. If he, attach, if he attacks my face. Don't you flatten your ears. Don't you do it. No. 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 Naughty. Why are your ears flattened back like that, huh? What's up with these ears? You already made me bleed. You already you already broke my freaking skin open. You little flat eared freak. You little frat flat eared freak naughty. No. 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 He's getting thrown. Made me bleed. Made me bleed. Alright, gotta go. Have an awesome day.